Oh, I see that Queen Mav have been with you. She is Fairy's midwife and comes in shape no bigger than a gate stone. On the forefinger of an elder man, trying with a team of little Tomneys, of wharf men's noses as they lie asleep. Her wagon spoke made of long spinner's legs. Her cover of the wings of grasshoppers. Her traces of the smallest spider's web. Her collars of moonshine's water brain. Her whip of cricket's bone, the lash of film. Her wagoneer, a small gray coated knot, not half so big than a round little worm. Pricked by the lazy finger of a maid. Her charlotte is an empty hazelnut made by the joiner scroll or old grud. Time will mine the fairy's coachmakers, and in this state she gallops night by night through lovers' brains and a dream of love over courtiers' knees. They str they dream on courtesies straight over lawyers' fingers who dream, who straight dream on fees, over ladies' lips who straight on kisses dream, which off the angry mab with blisters plagues, because their breaths of sweetmeats tainted are. Sometimes she gaps over a courtier's nose and trim he of smiling out a suit. And sometimes comes she with a tight pig's nose, tickling a parson's nose as he lies asleep. And dreams he of another benefice. Sometimes she drives over a soldier's neck, and dreams he of cutting foraging throats, of blushes, of breeches, and bustados, Spanish blades, of five health. Faith from deep, and anon drums in the ear. A witch start and wake, and being thus frightened, swears a prayer or two and sleeps again. This is that very hag that plates the manes of, of horses in the night and bakes and bakes the and bakes the elf flock in foul slushes slash hairs which once untangled much misfortune bowed bodies. This is the hag when maids lie on their backs which press presses them and learns them to be first to bear, making women of good carriage. This is she.